This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Domain.com. Forget Stella, you guys. Microsoft has got their groove back. I'm Mark Burstein of Techno Buffalo, and this is everything you need to know about this week's Microsoft event. Let's get some of the smaller stuff out of the way. Still exciting, but we want to get to the meat and the potatoes. So firstly, new Xbox One limited edition consoles are on the way. If you've been waiting to dive into the current gen or you're looking to switch or fill out your entertainment cabinet, the consoles featuring Xbox biggest titles might be a good time to make a move. Limited edition consoles are on the way for Halo 5 Guardians, Forza, Tomb Raider, and Gears of War. That's not all in gaming though. Today, Microsoft demoed their HoloLens technology as it pertains to gaming, calling it Mixed Reality. This allows developers to dynamically evaluate the room that the game is taking place in, whether it's your living room or an arena. The dev kit for HoloLens is going to be available in Q1 of 2016 for $3,000. Not to be left behind in wearables, Microsoft updated their Band today. The Band 2 is an incremental update that makes many of the user requested changes like a more comfortable strap and the addition of a barometer for elevation tracking. Of course, it also supports notifications and the like, but obviously that's going to work best within the Microsoft ecosystem. That new Microsoft Band is coming in at $249. All right, now to the good stuff. Even with all the leaks, I still get so, so stoked to see devices go official. The Lumia 950 and 950 XL are our brand new flagships from Microsoft. The 950 is sporting a 5.2 inch 2560 by 1440 display for a PPI of 565, a Snapdragon 808, a 3000 milliamp hour battery, and that sucker's gonna start at 549. The XL is rocking a 5.7 inch 2560 by 1440 display for a PPI of 515. It's got a Snapdragon 810, that is an octa-core processor, and a 3340 milliamp hour battery. The XL is going to run you 649 MSRP. Both devices have 32 gigs starting internal, expandable up to 2 terabytes, believe it or not, even though you can't get a 2 terabyte SD card. They both have the same camera sensors on the back and the front, 20 megapixels on the back, 5 megapixels on the front. Both of them have USB Type-C, and both of them have a dedicated camera button, which is one of my favorite things of the old school Nokia devices. They both also have liquid cooling. I have no idea how that works, but I can't wait to see if it makes a difference in terms of performance. And they have ambient AMOLED displays, very much like what you see on motor devices and a handful of other Android devices. Even cooler, they can also be used as full-on desktop machines with the Windows Continuum Display Dock, which gives you access to USB 3.0 ports, HDMI ports, and even DisplayPort out. If you're looking for something in the tablet arena, the Surface Pro 4 is also here. I loved the 3, so I can't wait to see how the 4 stacks up. The 4 comes with a new type cover, which has a much improved keyboard, trackpad, and a brand new fingerprint sensor for Microsoft Hello. The screen features what the Microsoft team calls Pixel Sense, which makes for the realest looking image that you can expect on a portable device. We will have to see if that lives up to the claims though. Underneath the hood, the Pro 4 is rocking the latest gen Intel processor up to 16 gigs of RAM and up to one terabyte of storage. The Pro 4 also comes with a brand new redesigned pen that Microsoft says is their best yet with 1,024 levels of pressure, a full year of battery life, and a new eraser on the back end. The Surface Pro 4 starts at $899 and it's available for pre-order starting October 7th and it ships October 26th. Really quickly, just want to take a break here to talk to you guys about Domain.com. Domain.com is the place to go when you get that next great idea. It's a one-stop shop for your domain, hosting, and your email. Plus, with new top-level domains coming available every single day, you can build your brand stronger and faster than ever before. Here, let me help you out with just a few free ideas that you guys can use. These are all completely available actual domains that you can go to domain.com right now and buy. First up, look out, a uh, .ninja, a site for learning how to protect yourself from the perils of ninja warriors. Super important stuff, man. Of course, there's also teletubby.guru, because I know some of you out there are teletubby enthusiasts. And last but not least, my favorite, you guys can go ahead and register see a man about a dot horse, the world's leading comprehensive index of ways to get out of awkward situations. Guess what though, you don't even have to register any of these to get 20% off of your entire order at Domain.com. All you gotta do is use the code TECHNOBUFFALO and you're back to saving money dot today. There's one more freebie for you. I fully expect you guys to tweet us with your awesome domains that you've snagged and remember when you think domains, 
thinkdomain.com. Finally, the Surface Book is Microsoft's first laptop built from the ground up. It's truly their first flagship computer. The book is intended to be the best, most powerful portable computer that you can buy that just so happens to have a removable display. The 267 PPI 13.5 inch pixel sense screen is powered by an Nvidia GeForce GPU, sports high speed GDDR5 memory, and 12 hour battery life. If you decide you need to work on a tablet, you just pop that sucker right out and the extra battery and processing power just sit right there on your desk in the base. This really is an exciting time for portables. I cannot wait to try out editing an entire one of our videos just on the book. Microsoft says that it's the machine powerful enough to work and play on without sacrificing the convenience, and it sure looks like it's shaping up to be that way. The Surface Book starts at $14.99, and pre-orders are available October 7th, shipping October 26th. That's all for today from the Microsoft event. What did you guys think of the announcements? The Surface Book does look awesome. Make sure you let us know what you think of the book and all the other great Microsoft stuff from today in the comments. You can hit that like button on the way down. Plus, you can hit that subscribe button if you're feeling a little squirrely. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Be kind to one another and I'll catch you in the next video.